Welcome to Pro Practice, your guide to refine, enliven, and illuminate the piano repertoire. I'm Josh Wright, and today's lesson will focus on Schumann's Kinderzenen, uh, the first piece from that, which is Vom Fremden Ländern und Menschen. And I'm sure my German is uh, very bad, but translates to of foreign lands and peoples. Okay, this is a beautiful piece. Let me just go through, I'll play it without repeats. was a little on the slow side. I mean, you could you could do a little faster like that. The thing that we want to realize is that these this Kinderzenen uh, scenes from childhood. It's not pieces for children. Okay, so children can play these, and they often do. But don't feel bad if you're an adult playing these, because really, to be honest, you need a certain maturity to pull these off very effectively. So looking back on childhood, remembering different things. So the thing that I want to focus on today is to help each of you come up with ways to voice better, so bringing out the melody, to shape that melody, to keep everything else quiet, and then to think about the longer phrases and how how you can make the whole piece sound like a landscape and one beautiful picture rather than a lot of individual snippets because you'll hear a lot of people play like this. Okay, and they actually are bringing out the melody. They're keeping the other voices pretty soft. They're shaping a little bit, but it doesn't really feel organic at all. It doesn't feel like one long idea. So, starting with the first part, we need to start out with a beautiful shape in the right hand to get thinking about these things. So you can either go up to the G and then less to there, or you can go to the F sharp and then less. Either one works because, um, to there, you're going to your downbeat, or here, more on the tension and then the resolution. That works as well. I personally like going to the G a little bit more. I think it makes a longer descent, which is nice. Okay, uh, and then the next one, we can either have an echo, and then the third one will be kind of coming in a little stronger and crescendoing. Or, if the second one gets bigger, the third one can peak out right there, and then get softer. So whatever you choose, there's implications for what happens next. It's like, if you take this path, uh, so if you have two paths, this path is gonna wind this way, and uh, it'll have like three forks going off of that way. And if you take this path, you know, you have two forks going off that way. Whatever path you like more, uh, it will have certain consequences. It will take you down different paths uh, for the next ensuing phrases as well. So uh, whatever you like, go for it. I don't mind either way. I, I go back and forth. And to be honest, you have a repeat here, so maybe you do one of each. I like that idea too. Let's try the left hand. What I'm thinking of is little softer fingers, a little flatter. Okay, and the whole
whole time, I'm just thinking to keep that really soft. I always tell my students this. If you uh, think of that in terms of water, like a, the left hand would be just this little stream kind of trickling along, and the right hand would be more of a river, you know, a little more stormy, a little, not stormy necessarily, but more momentum, more flowing, more uh, substance in, in the, the right hand. So, and now after you've done the left hand, let's do the left hand plus the non-melody notes in the right hand, which are just these G's, F sharp, A. That A right there is so important. Everyone plays that loud. They go. I, I mean, the first time I've taught, every time I've taught this, the first time everyone does that. So don't accent that A. It's part of the D resolution, the D7 going to the G major right there. Okay, let's try it again. Thank you so much for watching. As with all pro practice videos, the first section is free. If you'd like to view the rest of this video, or if you're interested in learning more about pro practice, just click on the link on this screen or on the link in the comments section below. Thank you for your support of pro practice.